Yeah, Ryan Seacrest, you know what? It, it's, a, it's a highly emotive. It's actually an explosive topic. And the thing is this. Look, there's nobody, I don't think there's anybody in this country from the white community besides probably Ernst Roots from Afri Forum that's, that's been able to have a debate with these animals, okay, that are demanding this. It's a, popular, a popular, populist movement, okay? There's absolutely no brains or thought that's gone into this whatsoever. Because the simple question that needs to be asked is, did the floppies occupy 100% of the surface area of South Africa when the white man arrived here? And the answer to that question is absolutely unequivocally no. Okay? Furthermore, where did, where did Malema and his fucking tribe come from? They came down from the rest of Africa. They were not the original inhabitants of this country. Their own tribes stole land in this country. Now, I'm not suggesting for a second that black people were cer certain elements of the black tribes and stuff like that historically were not deprived of land. But to turn around and to point fingers at any white person living in the country now and say that they are thieves of land. Well, as I said to you before, you know, when you go and buy something, you get given a receipt. If you go to Edgar's and you buy a bottle of perfume for your wife and you pay them, they have to give you a receipt, which is proof that you paid it. So they don't stop you at the door and say, listen, you've been shoplifting. Okay? Uh, no, I haven't been shoplifting. Here's the perfume. Here's the receipt. Oh, okay, cool. You can go. That is the same thing. That, that is what a title deed is, right? You paid money for the property. You bought the land. You fucking own it. So, so their argument about the fact that white people at the end of the day are um, foreigners in this country, well, how can you be a fucking foreigner if you were born here? It's the same as going to a so-called African-American. Do you think if you go to Oprah Winfrey and you say to Oprah Winfrey, who's not only the richest woman, black woman in the world, She's also the richest woman, bar none, in the entire world, okay? And you go to Oprah Winfrey and you ask Oprah Winfrey the question, listen, you're a foreigner in the United States of America. What do you think she's going to tell you? She'll laugh you off her show. She was born in the U.S. She's born on American soil. It makes her an American, okay? Regardless of where her ancestors, that her ancestors were descendants from Africa. And our ancestors are descendants from a Europe. So the bottom line over here is this, is that they can fuck off, Ryan, they can fuck off and die. Because the bottom line over here is this, is that they will start, at the end of the day, they will push this thing too far, and they will push the white man too far, and they will start a civil fucking war. Because they need the white man far more than we need them, okay? And there is no brains or no thought that's gone into any of this. The cornerstone of a free market functioning capitalist system is property rights. Okay, no bank is going to loan you any kind of money to buy a property without you, without the bank being able to hold title over that property. Okay, so if they go and they go ahead with what the EFF is proposing, which is outright nationalization, which is just theft, because that's what they are, Ryan, they're criminals. All they want to do is they want to loot and steal and plunder because they cannot create any wealth. Okay, they, they, only, they only specialize in being able to steal it. And what I'm saying over here, Ryan, is this, is that there are lots of black people in this country, okay, that are decent, hardworking, law-abiding people that I've got no problem associating with. I'm referring now to these, these, basically these fucking niggas, because that's the only word to use to describe them is niggas. It's a nigger mentality. And I've actually got a book, okay, it's called Capitalist Nigger. And I'll loan it to you sometime and you can read the book. The book is called Capitalist Nigger and it's written by a black man, a Nigerian. And he talks about, he criticizes the mentality, what he calls the nigger mentality. And the nigger mentality is always playing the victim, always the victim, blaming everybody else but themselves for their own shortcomings and failure. And if they, Ryan, revoke property rights in this country, they will collapse this economy. Okay, I can tell you here and now it will collapse this fucking economy overnight. Okay, if the rand will go completely for a ball of shit, foreigners will pull out all of their money out of this country faster than you can count to 10. If they will collapse this country. Okay, Ryan, that is, that is, it's inevitable. Okay, if they go ahead with it like this, because the bottom line is this, Ryan, is that there are plenty of black people out there that also own property. And if 
this they can't come up with a law in this country to amend the constitution just to support one area one sector you know one 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 race group to basically say yes you can expropriate land without compensation but you got to take it from white people but black people you can't take it there will be an outcry ryan internationally already every forum has got a hell of a lot of support overseas particularly in the united states and there will be a return of sanctions to south africa but this time the sanctions will be against us this criminal cancerous ANC. And if you want to spell the word cancer, spell cancer, C-A-N-C-E-R. That's where you get it from. Okay, well, as I like to refer to them, Association National Criminals, because that's what they are. They steal. That's all they can do, Ryan, is they can steal. It makes my fucking blood boil, because at the end of the day over here, they take in that attitude that I believe every single floppy that is overseas in Europe and there's in the US, should return then to Africa and fuck off out of those countries. And then every white person in Africa should fuck off back to Europe or to the US. You understand? And I certainly wouldn't have a problem swapping, swapping um, you know, countries with, 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 with a black man in America. Believe me. I would, I would take that up. I'd say, oh, sure, come. Come to South Africa. Come take everything over. Come live with your brothers and sisters over here. Ryan... They, they, they cannot win that argument, okay? Because the bottom line is this, is that if you've paid for something, you legally own it. And I can tell you something right now that they underestimate, okay, the white man and particularly the Dutchman in this country. You've got to remember that post-1994, it was compulsory for every white male in this country of the age of 18 when you left school to do compulsory two years military conscription, you understand? These Dutchmen have got caches of weapons buried in the ground, okay? And they are peaceful people, but believe me, they need to study their history and they need to go back and look at the Battle of Blood River and see what happened. Believe me, Ryan, if it comes down to it and that there's going to be a civil war in this country, believe me, they are going to get fucking destroyed. It doesn't matter how many numbers they come in, Ryan. The bottom line over here is that there will be aid that will come to the white man's help from the rest of the world, particularly the United States. Okay, there are there's a movement. Okay, and what's what you need to do is go and look at alexjones.com in the US. Okay, he's even behind supporting South Africa. Okay, and there's Americans over there that are prepared to send weapons and all kinds of things to the aid of the white man over here. Then. They are, it's all talk with these people, okay? It's been, it's been, it's been spun up, Ryan, because of the fact that the ANC has failed. The whole reason why they are focusing on this land issue, Ryan, is because every single time the ANC fucks up, they've got to find a scapegoat. They've got to find somebody to blame, okay? <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> so what do they do? It's convenient and easy to make a scapegoat okay and make you know an issue over this over land which is very emotional for, for i think for most people and the bottom line is this ryan is that then when people are focusing on that it allows them to continue looting and stealing and everything like that in the background so ryan i'm not a fan of any government basically anywhere in the world if you want to describe me what i am i'm i would be described in the united states of america as somebody which is known as the same as ron paul who comes from Texas, okay, and Ron Paul was essentially a, um, he, he believed in, he was an ultra-conservative, okay, and, you know, that, oh shit, the word has just escaped me now, um, there's a word for it, Ryan, it'll come to me now shortly, what I am in terms of, of um, you know, uh, you know, my political, my, my, my political outlook, I'm just trying to think what, what, what it's called, um, but basically, Ryan, I believe in as little government as possible. I believe that the, I believe in the original U.S. Constitution with Jefferson and Lincoln, the founding fathers of the United States, that stated, "This is the land of the free and the home of the brave." And the, the key word over here is the land of the free. That government is there merely to protect your and my freedoms, not impinge on our freedoms. You understand? And there has been a movement. Look, Ryan, the ANC is a communist Marxist fucking organization. That is why they've got no concept of how a free market works. Okay? 
They, 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 love to, they love all the benefits of capitalism. The Johnny Walker, which is a product of capitalism. The BMWs, which is a product of capitalism. The iPhones and the overseas trips and the flights on planes. All these things are creations of capitalism. Okay, But they want to have a Marxist policy where, by and large, the state, big brother, controls everything so that they can loot for their own chummies and buddies. And Margaret Thatcher was correct when she said it. Socialism is a wonderful system until you run out of other people's money. The whole bunch of them, Ryan, they couldn't fucking run a bath if you put the whole lot of them together. They don't actually have half a brain cell to rub together. All these people know how to do. And when I use the words these people, I'm talking the government, okay, which is the ANC. All these people know how to do, Ryan, is to steal. That's all that they qualified at doing. But give them anything that's functioning and working and they will fuck it up 40 ways from Sunday. The same as now take Apple as a trillion dollar company. I guarantee you now, okay, if, if you gave Zuma the job of being CEO of Apple, I think Apple would be declared bankruptcy within six months. Okay, that is why I want Zuma to go to, to Anfield and become the new manager there at Liverpool. They can actually do with him. But the point is this, Ryan, is that they are using this whole issue okay of the land okay to stir up hatred among races and everything like that nobody has actually stopped for a second and actually done a proper in-depth study of it okay and as you as you know ryan that you you lie enough eventually the lie becomes the truth so all they have to do is perpetuate this lie that white people all white people are criminals all white people fucking stole okay and then eventually the 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 masses particularly the unemployed youth in this country is going to start to believe it i will tell you ryan if you want to fix this country and i believe i think your wife is a teacher it starts ryan with education 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 and more education okay that is where it starts with ryan and it's st- the second thing in this country is creating jobs and the fastest way in this country to create jobs is to free up the economy get rid of these onerous labor laws okay and all these fucking regulations that is strangling business okay you know and i know that just with us running our businesses we've got to jump through hoops to complete tax returns for SARS. by god help you if you one fucking day late they hit you with a 10 percent penalty okay they owe you money they owe you a refund good luck in getting your money back from them because they'll take six months to refund you but if you one fucking day late they'll they'll, they'll fuck you over for 10 percent It starts, Ryan, with freeing up this country and creating lots of small businesses in this country and entrepreneurs, okay? That is how you do it. And to get all these youth into work, Ryan, it's a simple, there's a simple solution to this problem. Bring back um, what they did years and years ago, okay, where people could do trades, Ryan, and by and large, they would get given something called an apprenticeship. That you go and work for a company, sure, you're going to get virtually paid dog shit, but at least you're going to learn a skill. And you can take that skill out into the marketplace, you can start your own business with that skill, or you can go and work for another employer under better working conditions. That's the beauty of the free market, because you're free to fucking choose. They, now, now, why do they not have apprenticeships in this country, Ryan? I'll tell you why, because of the fucking labor law. Because the labor law insists that you have to pay a minimum wage, right? Minimum wage is, is, is a disaster because it's by and large telling people, it's, it's essentially putting people out of work. Because if the minimum wage is five rand an hour, but I'm prepared to do the work for two rand an hour, by law, I can't actually work. Because if I do work and I get paid two rand an hour, then I'm breaking the law and the person that's paying me two rand is breaking the law. You understand? So it's these stupid fucking bullshit laws, right? These guys in government do not have half a brain cell between them. There is no common sense. And the way to solve these problems in this fucking country and move forward, okay, is to get this place to work again and to start using common sense. We need less government, okay? SA Airways, bankrupt, okay? SABC, bankrupt. Eskom, bankrupt. Every fucking thing these people touch, they bankrupt, right? So now, why would, why would you want to entrust these people to, to own the land in the country too? They're going to fuck that up as well too. So yeah, look, Ryan, we live in interesting times. Um, <clears throat> it, gets me, it gets me extremely angry, okay? Because there's no, these people do not seem to see 
common sense, okay, and logic, okay, and the people that are out there debating the likes of Malema and Andili from Black First, Land First, and all of that, they're too scared. They, they, they're too scared. They don't, they don't argue back properly with the guy. You know what I mean? They need somebody like me that can take the argument to the guys and put them in their fucking place. And as I said, my question <coughs> to Mr. Malema <coughs> and to Mr. Andili from fucking Black, uh, black First, Land First, okay, or she rather call it shit for brains, okay, he, I would like to ask him this question. If I pay for something, does it belong to me or does it belong to you? Who does it belong to? And we would like to see on national TV him debate me, Ryan. I will fucking crucify him. And I will crucify anybody else that I debate. Okay? Because the facts are the facts. You cannot argue the facts. You can try and distort it and come up with all this garbage like white monopoly capital. And they talk about, they talk about um, the white people owning 70% of the land in this country. R Ryan, it's like me saying that that white people have 70% of the wealth in the country. Well, wealth can be described by a lot of different things, okay? Um, they've got to be more specific. White people own 70% of what land in South Africa, okay? It has been proven, Ryan, by independent reports that it's actually the government, the ANC, that is sitting on the most land in the country. That is a fucking fact, okay and it can be researched and it can be proven and it's published all over the world there's something these days called the internet maybe these 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 jigaboos have maybe not never heard of the internet before okay but the bottom line is right that they are going the, to to cause there is going to be big shit coming down in this country i'm telling you now okay and it's it's you can thank this fucking anc because the reason why they want to go ahead with this thing is because they are desperate to cling to power. And they feel now that if they don't go ahead with this, okay, then they are going to lose support in the next election. They're not concerned, Ryan, about, the, about, about it being a good policy, okay, and for the good of the country. They are only concerned about saving their own skins. And that is why the best leaders in history have been the leaders that do not play to an audience. I mean, you go and look at Malema. When Malema is delivering a speech that's predominantly to floppies, he's, he's talking about shooting white people and killing white people and how much he hates white people. Well, quite funny enough, his, his actual uh, his, his bodyguards are, is, is a honky. But anyway, the point is this. When he goes in front of a black audience, white people are, are scum of the earth. When he goes in front of a predominantly white audience, business audience, then he changes his tune entirely. He's like a fucking chameleon. And in America, he would be called a flip-flopper in politics. I mean, here's the guy that said, that said back in 2007, we'll kill for Zuma. But now he, now, then he wanted Zuma out. So, so I mean, you know, I mean, who, who can trust somebody like that with that kind of judgment? I already knew then when Zuma was, when they wanted Zuma to come in. I looked, took one look at that and I said to myself, well, fuck, this, 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 is, this, is, this, is, this is to be expected. Because the, the qualification you need to be president of the ANC is that you need to be a specialist in crime. And with, with Zuma's 783 unanswered for charges of fraud, corruption, and racketeering that he still hasn't answered for, okay, made him the perfect candidate. Okay? I mean, you go and perpetrate a crime and you put that on your CV, the ANC says, fuck it, you hired. Okay? We need guys that, get, that, have, that have got experience in blowing up you know, armored trucks doing cash in transits. We need rapists. We need murderers in, in our ranks. That is exactly what they are, Ryan. They're a terrorist fucking organization, okay? Even in the days when Mandela was incarcerated, okay? And the bottom line is this, is that as, as, as a so-called liberation movement, they've been, they, they, their minds have been fucked by the Russians with the communism, okay? And all of that kind of stuff. And if anybody thought that Ramaphosa was basically business friendly. They got another thing coming, Ryan, because Ramaphosa, while, while I would say that Ramaphosa is an intelligent man, okay, the bottom line is this, Ryan, is that he's got to appeal to the various constitu constituencies inside the, the ANC itself, okay, and the ANC itself is divided, Ryan. It's divided along the lines of the people in the ANC, the few good people that are in the ANC, People that I would rate, like, for example, Pravan Gordon, 
okay, I think should have actually been president in this country, okay, if we're going to have to take somebody from the fucking ANC or from the cancer, I would take Gordon, okay, I mean, what he did, what he did with SARS was amazing, what he did with the e-filing and with the modernizing of SARS and everything like that, he did a phenomenal job, and I believe that Gordon is an honest man, okay, You've got some good people in the ANC, but unfortunately, Ryan, you've got all these other fuckers in the ANC as well, too. Okay, they all got, they're all pigs with their snouts in the trough that they want. Okay, to, to I mean, do you think that Malema really gives two fucks about the poor? No, he doesn't. Malema is more concerned about the Johnny Walker and the, the trouble use and the good life and all the things that the white man has provided. Because, look, let's be honest, let's call a spade a spade. His nation never created anything. They didn't even create a fucking wheel, right? Okay? They didn't even invent that, okay? But they hate us, okay? But at the same time, they're using all our technology and they're using all our, our practices, basically, okay? And, pol and you know, they, they, when I say they're using our practices, they, they, you know, they're using things that have been created by the white man. Okay, in, even in doing business, because I mean, it was the white man at the end of the day that invented money. Okay, they didn't invent money. Okay, but they want to use it. So, and I mean, you know, you get these black women that 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 want to be. They hate white people, but they they want to look white. They they dye they dye their skin to make it to make it lighter. They try and straighten their hair and all that kind of stuff. I mean, you know what I mean, Ryan? It's a fucking farce. I I am not Ryan against black people okay i've got no issue with black people i've actually got no issue with any race i'll tell you what my issue is ryan i have an issue with what i call the nigger mentality and that is the mentality of essentially the victim okay the only reason we don't have money it's the white man the reason we've got load shedding in this country is because of the white man the reason we've got crime in this country is because of the white man they blame fucking everything on the white man and you know what, Ryan? It's like what's off a duck's back with me now these days. So that's why I'm saying to you, just have a look at what, what is actually happening over here. They are trying to divert people's attention away from what the ANC has done. And the ANC has fucked up on a, on a, on a grand scale. And it started, Ryan, right back, because some people come to me and even said to me, oh, you know, wh what do you think about Trevor Manuel, that you think Trevor Manuel? I said, Trevor Manuel, let me tell you something about Trevor Manuel and even Mandela, okay? They all, the shit with the arms deal, that is where the first corruption started in this country, under the new so-called Rainbow Nation. And that was still, Ryan, just towards the end of when Mandela was in his presidency, okay? So people like to rave about Mandela is a god and that he's done nothing wrong. And, and Manuel was the best finance minister this country ever had. Well, let me tell you something right now, Ryan. Fine, maybe we don't blame Mandela directly for the arms deal, okay? But it was, it was definitely happened under Trevor Manuel's watch. And that was the beginning, okay? And if you have time... I will give you another book that you can read called The Arms Deal in Your Pocket, okay, that was written by, by a Jew boy by the name of Andrew Feinstein, used to be a member of the ANC, and Feinstein wrote this book and he explains in detail that the arms deal was one big fucking money laundering scheme by the ANC on a grand scale, because essentially the comrades came with this, the policy post-1994 of we did not struggle to be poor. I will repeat that, Ryan. ANC mantra. We did not struggle to be poor. So therefore, they wanted to assume power in this country, Ryan, so that they could enrich themselves. That's all it was about, Ryan. It was not about so-called liberating the people in this country. Okay? It is all being done so that they jostle for positions in power and they could control the levers of power in this country. And it came down to the one thing, Ryan, that runs this entire world. And it's called fucking money. That is what it is, Ryan. And yes, it is the root of all evil. Okay? And it's also the root of all good. It just depends how you use it. But the thing is this, Ryan. These guys are fucking criminals. And they are charlatans. And they are using this land issue now to cover up for the ANC's one monumental fuck up after the next, okay? And they have been fucking up consistent, consistently, Ryan, 
since 1994 they've been fucking up okay and instead of them falling on their sword and acknowledging listen we don't actually know what we're doing okay we don't actually know how to run a country properly okay they want to continue stealing and the next grand plan here is now to steal the land and when they finish with that Ryan, then they're going to be next on to the banks you and me may as well start digging holes in the ground and burying our fucking money because the next thing that's going to come down the line Ryan, is they're going to want to nationalize the banks okay they want full-blown control Ryan, over everything here and they seem to think that you can strengthen the poor by, 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 by weakening the rich. It never works that way, Ryan. It doesn't work that way. Because the rich are the people that create the jobs. And the rich simply take their money and they move it overseas. Ryan, if they came and they took everything from me, okay, I could still fuck off out of this country, Ryan, and I could start over again in another country. You know why, Ryan? Because they can never take my knowledge and my experience from my head, okay? And that is, that is the difference. They will get that stuff, and it's like the old saying, give a man fish he eats for one day, teach a man how to fish he eats the rest of his life. Anyway, Ryan, I've rambled on long enough. I will see you tomorrow at 12 o'clock. Okay, thanks, Ryan. Cheers.